Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, today is April 4th. It is Thursday, 2024. We're going to go into the uh, pavilion. <laughs> Come on, Hella. Come on, girl. Over here, over here. Hold on a second, folks. I figured we would start outside so you can see how lovely it is. <laughs> Watch out, baby. Come on. Uh, weather's just lovely. Uh, <laughs> snow's not sticking. But it's been blowing, it's cold, it's only about 35 degrees, I think, right now. It's just not very pleasant. This, it's been a bipolar day, because we've had periods of snow, rain, then the sun's been out. Um, again, like I said, I think the highest that we got to today was about 38 degrees. So, just not a very pleasant day here at the homestead, but what can you do? Okay. I want to talk about CERN. Um, some of you may know what CERN is, C-E-R-N. Um, if you're unsure, you can go ahead and look it up. It's an underground uh, testing facility. Uh, it's on the border of the Swiss Alps. And uh, so they plan, um, they got it fired up already. It's already up and going. But they're running a huge test. Uh, it's like, like the God particle. I believe is what they're calling it. Um, they're not 100% sure what's going to happen. But they're running that test April 8th, the day of the eclipse. Which I find that interesting, the correlation of that. Why run it um, at that time? Is there some significance to that? I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not trying to read anything into anything, folks. But uh, when you start playing God, that's not generally going to end well. <laughs> that's, just, that's my take. Um, that's kind of what I feel, but uh, they're and then I think uh, NASA's sending up three rockets that day, so I don't know what that's all about either. To be honest with you, I haven't really looked into that one, um, but I, I did hear that they're sending up three rockets on that day as well. And like I said again, uh, they're doing this this test for uh, you know um, this underground facility to uh, deploy. With stuff, very dangerous stuff. Um, and of course, they're telling every, oh, it's perfectly safe and everything's fine, especially when you don't know what's going to happen, right? You have an idea of what may happen, but you don't really know. You know, you're basically rolling a dice and seeing how it all pans. Look, this is what I deal with. Just so you guys know, this is what I, this is what I'm dealing with right now. <laughs> I don't know if she could get closer. I think she could if she really, really tried. But uh, anyway, and, and again, what, what's the, is there a correlation with that? Uh, you know, so it's, uh, it'll be interesting to see how that whole thing pans out and what happens with that situation. But uh, yeah, the weather down here has not been very pleasant. Uh, we've got a lot of rain. I had thought about taking a walk down to the waterfall just because the water's uh, all over the place. It's just really, really rushing and raging. I may do that tomorrow uh, to show you guys, you know, what that's looking like down there. I'm sure it's got to be awesome. It's got to be cranking uh, the waterfall, not trickling down, you know, but probably rolling pretty good. So we'll have to see. But, uh, yeah, it's one of those kind of days that you really don't want to venture out if you don't have to. Uh, it's not, like I said, it's not very pleasant out there today. Uh, I know that, like I said, people are still dealing with power outages as well. Uh, there was uh, the one power outage we had up here um, in my neighborhood, and it looks like they got the lines back up. I don't know if they're back to working or not yet, which basically means, like, uh, my neighbor Randy's probably been without power. It was, like, 8 o'clock yesterday morning, so if he's still out now, you know, that's almost 36 hours, and like I said, the temperature uh, is not nice. And, you know, thank goodness he has a wood stove so that he's able to, uh, 
you know, stay warm that way. And, and a lot of people out here are prepared that way. Uh, you know, they have wood stoves and they have wood and stuff like that. I mean, you know, so that that is, uh, you know, definitely something that uh, is a good thing. Um, one of the things, and I, I know I talked about this before, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys again. All these, these are all open up here. So we lose a tremendous amount of heat uh, with those because of those gaps. And uh, so you can see over here as well. So all these gaps are there um, and that's an issue. And so we're going to get those buttoned up. Um, that's one of the game plans for this coming weekend when everybody gets together is to get those squared away. Uh, what we want to do also through on this side here and over on this side, we want to put, uh, like over here, we want to set up a sink. I'm going to get a sink over here uh, and get countertops on this side, countertops on this side, and then like uh, storage uh, cabinets on top and cabinets underneath to be able to store stuff out here, you know, for when we want to utilize it and, and all those type of things. So uh, that's going to be, you know, as like as the summer goes on, we'll continue to work on this and try to get it buttoned up more and get it more ready for next winter. Uh, the plastic has been a huge thing this year. Uh, made a big, big difference. Like right now, again, you know, it's been very windy. You can see the wind out there. And when I started the video being out in the wind, you know, you could definitely feel it. But in here, you're not feeling that breeze. Now, of course, like with that open like that, the camp or the camper, the pavilion is not retaining heat. Um, it's not retaining heat at all. So once we get that buttoned up, uh, again, if you look up here, if you look up there, I mean, we don't have that insulated or anything yet. I mean, that's something else that we're going to need to do at some point uh, to try to get, like I said, I want to get this so that like next winter when we're gathering in here that we can have this buttoned up enough. Where This wood stove should heat this area up fantastically. And it helped last this last winter, you know, and through the um, January, February of this year. Uh, but, you know, it definitely... You needed to be like close to the stove to really feel that heat because we were losing so much of it just because the pavilion is so wide open. I mean, you can see the gaps up through there, you know, so all that's got to get taken care of. And those will be things that we're going to definitely be working on this year. And so, uh, you know, before we get into the fall in the starting of the colder weather, uh, you know, we are going to try to get this buttoned up. We may insulate this lower part through here. Um, as well and uh, you know we're just going to try to figure out how we want to you know get this but countertops cabinets on top cabinets below same over here on this side uh, like storage for pots and pans like you know to be able to hang them up over here and get that you know kind of squared away that way as well and uh, you know make it uh, much much better um, that way so it's going to be a process but uh, you know again everything this is, uh, you know, it's, it's been a lot of work, but it was so worth it. It was so much nicer uh, being in here this winter than sitting outside, if you remember the year before, uh, sitting around the fire pit under a canopy, trying to cook and all that type of stuff. So uh, slow and steady progress, and that's what it's all about. Now look at, okay, so now you're seeing, I think the sun's trying to peek back out again out here. It's just crazy. I mean, it's like, you know, it seems like the snow has slowed down a little bit. So, snow, rain, wind, <laughs> cold, not a fun day. But anyway, I do want to hear your feedback on the whole CERN thing. Uh, do you think there's any correlation, or does it just happen to be a coincidence that they're doing this test uh, during the eclipse? Or, does, do you, or do you think it has more significance? Uh, you know with that uh, with the eclipse so I'm I don't know I mean I'm kind of up in the air with it. I don't, I don't know a whole lot about it um, I just think it's interesting to uh, talk about and uh, I definitely like I said I want to hear your guys feedback I want to hear what you think so anyway guys I am going to jump off of here for now I hope everybody's having uh, an awesome week and that you're just continuing to take care of your business remember we truly are all in this together. 
we are one race called the human race. As soon as we figure that one out, we're going to be in much, much better shape. Uh, we have to stop letting them divide us. We have to come together as human beings. If we can do that, we're going to be in much, much better shape. Also remember um, to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from achieving your goals is you. That's it, nobody else. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. I hope you all have a great day. I'm going to show you there. You look at the trees up here and see how they're swaying because of the wind. Yeah. Wind and cold are not my friends. I don't like them. Anyway, guys, be safe, and I will see you on the next one. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now. And actually, I'll show you there. You can see the sun is trying to peek out over here. It's just crazy. It's been a crazy day. All right, have a good one. Bye.